shoulder My eyes peeking in Analyze my every move What current state I'm in Cause you are Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Samuel Goham and today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to change the colors of your designs on paint.net. Once you have your design set up, you can either flatten the image and just change the color all at once, or you can change each layer individually. I only recommend flattening if your design is just one color in the first place, like my example is, so I already have it flattened and that's fine. But if there are multiple colors, for example, an outline that's a different color, you are going to want to do that separately so things don't look weird. Before I start, I'm going to go and open up um, my template and copy it onto this on another layer. Because when we're messing with the settings and stuff, the whole template will look weird but we just want to change the clothing. The design I'm using right now is just pink, so I can change the color all at once. To change the pink to something else, all I have to do is go up to Adjustments and select Hue and Saturation. Once I'm here, the first setting I'm going to mess with is the hue. This is the main thing that controls the color of the design. So, I can do a number of things here and once I've found a color that I'm happy with then the next thing I can mess with is the saturation and this is going to make the color bolder or less strong <laughs> I guess so once I've found a saturation that I am happy with I can mess with the lightness if I feel like I have to, but I don't in this situation, so I'm just going to say okay. If you don't want your design to be colored at all, all you have to do is go back to the hue and saturation tool and take the saturation all the way down, and this will make it either gray, black, or white depending on how light your design is. If you want it to be a certain brightness we can go to the brightness and contrast tool and make it as white or as black as we want if your design is black and white in the first place and you want to add color to it then first off you will need to download a plugin which I'm gonna link in the description once you've installed that go up to adjustments and select color balance and from here you can manipulate the colors as you please to make it any of these colors and if you're not getting the specific color you want you can always get it as close as you can and then use um, hue and saturation to change it again so here is our finished product I took it from a very nice pink to a very nice pale blue color and that is all i had to show you guys today i hope you found this tutorial helpful and feel free to request another tutorial you'd like me to do in the comments thanks for watching bye